Skylab is most likely to drop harmlessly in the of the 500 pieces from the space station. <laughs> Burning across the Pacific horizon, crossing time zones from east to west. Destined to be a bigger hit than Skylab. With the title track of a current album, Great Balls of Fire, here's Dolly Parton. Hello, Dolly. Uh, first of all, I've got to, they're sort of rather wilted at the moment. Yeah. Welcome to Countdown, for a start. Well, thank you. This is a hey, great little audience. what about audience. this lady? She's marvellous. Woo! That, uh, all I can that say I know is, what about her. All I can say is that Western Australia, you may have bits of Skylab hanging all around your state, but I've got Dolly Parton. And I've got Mwah. Molly. Now, listen, um, we're going to sort of compare the show tonight, both of us. And uh, we're going to sort of intro, intro a couple of new acts, right? And I'm looking forward to it. I've really looked right? forward to this. And I met a lot of your audience when they first came in early today. So we have uh, some real good looking we folks sure on the do. show We've today. We sure do. We've got uh, Rex Smith, who you met. Yes, I did. No one knows and about him And these kids here. are going to love him. He's beautiful and he mm -hmm. sings good. Who Does else he? we got? Yeah. And we've got uh, Dr. Feelgood and we've got David Bowie. Uh -huh. So let's uh, go out with uh, this people. You know them? I know these people. They are great. And if anybody wants to dance, the village people can sure put the music to you. How about it for the village? people and go west. Woo! Bye. 
and dance, because it's Gonzales, chart busting around Australia with Haven't Stopped Dancing Yet. Enter the national chart this week at 28, mostly because of the Perth and Brisbane charts with Cool for Cats. And Davy Crockett rides around and says it's cool for cats, it's cool for cats. The Sweeney's doing 90 because they've got the word to go. They get a gang of villains in a shed up at Heathrow. They're counting out the fibers when the handcuffs lock again. In and out, I once were with the numbers on their names. It's funny how the missus always looks a bleed and same. And meanwhile, at the station, there's a couple of likely lads who swear like as your father, and they're very cool for cats, they're cool for cats. Perth also had a lot to do with Roger Vaduras being a chart buster. This week, Get Used to It moved up nationally from 10 to 5. I know what you were about. Something called love made me want to find out. Did not think you could ever care, but I'm out of control because you're taking me there. I couldn't believe our love would last. It's coming on stronger, coming on so much faster. Get used to it. Cause I'll be around. Yeah, you better get used to all my love. This guy is one of the best people we've ever had the pleasure to work with. Chris Rea, chart bust at the national charts this week at 26 with Diamonds.
shark busters that happen every week and like they're the ones that sort of are making the charts at the moment in a big way and if you noticed before you were I know you're a Roger Verduras fan, right? Well, sure. Well, just ask them out there. Right, I know they're great. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, th that's the chart busters. Now, listen, I've got to ask about yourself. Because, oh, like, okay. you go through so many facets of music. Uh, country singer, and then going into sort of uh, a rock number, like uh, Here We Go Again, or Here We Come Again. <laughs> and then, uh, Baby, I'm Burning Into Disco. I mean, how can you do it? Well, I really just love to sing, and, and a lot of the music that I do, or most of the music, I, are songs that I write myself. And right. I just have fun doing this. I enjoy meeting people, and, and I hope they enjoy it. And I, I'm really happy to be here, because I'm loving all this music that we're hearing today. Now, how does Dolly Parton get to write songs, the time to write songs? Well, actually, I do tour a lot, but I find the time to do it sort of like a hobby yeah. as I travel around the country. Some yeah, but I, I just like it. It's Easy. Well, that's an, uh, one guy that's not only a good songwriter in this country, but he's also an excellent record producer and a great artist on stage. He's a guy called Jojo Z. How that's, about that name? Uh, that's a good name. I and, love these uh, bands. He's got a single out at the moment that we think now is going to be a hit, and it's called Hit and Run. Yeah. yeah. to ask you something I have to know without going well, back to the United boring. States. No, I have to know all these great names of these groups. I just want to know how you got the name Molly. I mean, a, a, a name that rhymes with Dolly and you don't look like a Molly to me. Uh, well, um, no, it's just a, a sort of a, a radio DJ when I was writing a column gave it to me that, um, oh. and I'm stuck with it. So okay, well, I just wanted to go. So it's Molly and Dolly doing the show. Look, I'm perspiring and the makeup keeps coming up and like, all I can say is that 
Being with you, I'm burning. Oh, <laughs> Baby, I'm burning. Yeah. It's, it's true. I've got to take my coat off. Do you okay, mind well, I, take I don't my care if you take your clothes Meanwhile, off. Meanwhile, listen, uh, we've got to go on with the show as well. Okay. I'm really so hot Are with you? you. It's unreal. Um, <laughs> anyhow, listen, uh, this is particular. We've got two new groups that we want to present okay. on the show. Uh, the first is called The Dickies, and they've got a song that used to be with an ABC program called Banana Splits. Wait till you see this clip. Good. Banana Splits by The Dickies. That's uh, the, the um, Dickies, Dickies with banana yeah. splits. I think I need a cucumber to cool myself <laughs> down still. Uh, you can sort of do this one, Dolly. Okay, this is the other new group you talked about, and I wonder if they're as bananas as the other group. <laughs> this is called Offshore Banking Business. Great title. Bermuda in the Bahamas, Front Street Hamilton. and operating there They don't employ any local staff and I don't know if you are aware One American sitting at a desk with a plaque outside on the wall <laughs> You know That's what they call Offshore banking business Some kind of financial thing, yeah Offshore banking business Well, 
Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> offshore banking business and banana splits. I mean, how crazy is that? Oh, well, it's crazy, but it's good. I know. I like crazy things. That's why I wanted to join you today. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Tom. Uh, listen, we've got a group now. We're very, very proud. Uh, it's an international show sort of today. Uh, Dr. Feelgood. And... I heard them early and they made me feel good. Well, they've had some great <laughs> albums out, believe me. And a mate of mine down the road, he doesn't stop playing them, you know? Great. And when he heard they're on the show, he said, oh, I'm coming here no matter what. And uh, they're going to do a, 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 a track titled As Long As The Price Is Right off a live album, which is, when you hear it, is a great live album. Great. The live album is called As It Happens. Here they are, Dr. Feelgood. Good. Lee, can you come over? Listen, we've been talking about images just through that number as well. <laughs> and uh, you're saying about Lee's image and uh, different rock groups and right. that. Well, I think it's amazing how everybody looks so different. We all work hard to look the right. way we look, like, you know, with the wigs and the clothes. And, and this Lee, guy's great. Lee, I'd like great. to introduce you, you to Dolly. You are wonderful. I heard you earlier. <laughs> yeah, thank you. He was, uh, Dolly was just saying about images, Lee, you know, like... The, the clothes sort of and the hair. They partial of rock and roll, don't yeah. they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, You've got to work into a microphone, I've been told, because, you know... You can have mine. <laughs> All right. Um, well, our image is we're just straight uh, English-style rock and roll band from pubs. and we, It's that music we play in London, you know? Well, well I like you, it. It's good. You've yeah. got a great following out here. And uh, what do you think of Dolly's image? Don't Obviously. say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just... Well, it's great. Listen, we've got a very uh, big surprise for you here. Uh, it's for the rest of the group. We've got plants for the rest of the group, but this is for oh, yeah? Festival Records. And it's just to uh, remember us in Australia from Festival Records. All right. Right? Thank you All right? very much indeed. And thanks very much for coming on the show. Yeah. Listen, we've got to move along and just sit, sit with us. Um, there is um, a, a couple of friends that Dolly's got uh, yeah. that is about to appear on the show. Right. Dolly? Okay. This is a group that used to have big records several years ago, Peaches and Herb, and now they got reunited and have a number one record in the United States called Reunited. <laughs> Oh, 
we've just been sort of talking about like the uh, the people that have come up and you know done it again sort of thing. There's been some great new groups though as well. This this next group, if I can tell you, yeah. are friends of mine. They're from Kentucky, way down south. I'm from Tennessee. It's just up the road. They had a great record called Kiss You All Over, and now they have another great one called How Could This Be Wrong? And you can only be talking about exile. Exactly. Woo! That's an excellent group, isn't it? It is. Um, one of the groups from 78 and carrying on in 79. Um, now, one guy, we've been talking about images before, your image <laughs> and, um, and Dr. Feelgood's. One guy that plays himself so important on an image in itself, you know, whenever he brings out a record, is David Bowie. Do you like Well, he's David? very unusual. I've always yeah. liked him. I, I think he's one of the most unique acts in the whole business. Well, he's got a new album out. I don't know if you've heard it called Lodger. I have not heard it, but I hope to soon. Well, there's some great tracks on it. And we've got three film clips, and in every film clip, he plays a different image. And this one is no exception. Off the Lodger album, David Bowie Good. with DJ. <laughs> Well, that was David Bowie with DJ and, uh, I mean, like, the Lodger album has just blown me out and the film clips are just sensational. All right, talking about sensation, uh, we've been uh, with Dolly uh, for most of the show today and she has a new album out. Uh, she did the title track of this album uh, to open the show called Great Balls of Fire and uh, she's got, uh, again, uh, she's, she's written a lot of songs on this album, but also the fact is that uh, we've also pre-taped a song before Countdown started today, actually, 
and it's called You're the Only One, and it's roaring up the American charts, and we'll be featuring it in the show in another couple of weeks. So watch out for this album, Great Balls of Fire, and I think that actually Great Balls of Fire should be a single, because I think it could be sensational. All right. Another uh, album, which has also been, been released, is called Both Sides of Dolly Parton, and I think this is quite a sensational album in the effect that not only is she uh, a great-looking lady, and she can really sing, but she also is a great songwriter. And uh, she, uh, apart from songs like Jolene that she's written, uh, most of the songs in this album are a reflection of Dolly going over the past three or four years. So watch out for that album as well, The Both Sides of Dolly Parton. Right, one song being a VFL Australian Rules football freak, this gives me great delight because not only is this song doing so well in Victoria, in fact it's become over the last week the fastest selling single in, 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 in Victoria, um, it's also uh, written by a guy who's a, who was a, a friend of mine for a long, long time, he used to be in a group called MPD and he's been writing commercials etc etc and he wrote the theme song for uh, Channel 7, who have been doing a great football promotion uh, in Victoria for Australian Rules, and it was called Up There Kazali. A couple of weeks ago, they decided to release it as a single because so many people asked for it, and would you believe it is not only now in the top 10 in Victoria, but they have 70,000 backlog of copies of people wanting for it. So it is going to be huge. Up There Kazali! Pretty winds hands down. I tell you what, look, my team is actually at the bottom of the ladder, but when I hear that, I just love St Kilda and I love Australian rules. Up there, Kazali, it's going to be a monster. All right, one guy that um, we have great privilege of having on the show today, uh, he has got a television series in America. It has been an immense success, and through this television series, he released a single uh, uh, titled You Take My Breath Away, and it has gone mad. It, it is already top ten. This week it is top ten in America. His name is Rex Smith. Hi, Rex, Mark. thank you very much for coming great on the show. Great to be here. Well, um, I don't know much about the, uh, the, the, the television series itself. What's the title of it, first off? Sooner or later, it's a TV movie. Yeah. It's a two-hour movie, and uh, it's due to be here in Australia at any time. Right. And I heard that they're just going through the red tape, and it'll be on TV pretty soon, right. shortly. Now, um, did this come sort of like, did you record uh, first and then do the television series afterwards? or? Well, or half of this album is from the uh, movie, right. and we recorded that while we were making the movie. And the other half of the album I did after I finished the movie. And what about having a top ten record in the States? It's a, it's a thrill. Yeah. It can do wonders for your life. <laughs> now listen, uh, we haven't, as I said, seen the series, but there's a, a lady in that series that is your girlfriend, I think, uh, that right. plays your girlfriend. She's pretty, um, pretty nice lady. Yeah. Yeah? Denise Miller, she was in uh, Fish. Yeah. And I sort of uh, noticed that when you sort of sing the song to her that she sort of melts to butter. Yeah. <laughs> what about the girls over here? What are you going to well, do Well, I hope them? so. We'll see. <laughs> well, listen, you've also got this album out, um, sooner or later. Right. Um, which, uh, which do you prefer doing, recording or acting? I love them both. Yeah? I tell you, they're just they're rewarding careers. All it's right. great to be able to do both. Yeah. Makes it. Well, listen, you're going to perform the song for us, right? Right. So if you'd like to sort of make your way centre stage, okay. and I'll waffle on uh, here, right? Uh, and Rex is going to do a song from this album, sooner or later, Top Ten in America, You Take My Breath Away. Meanwhile, while he's getting over there, another guy that's also a television actor, come, uh, singer, and we're very, very proud of this guy, John English. And this is a compilation album, a double album, of all John's hits, and it's called The English History. And I tell you what, uh, if you like John English uh, re uh, recording, well, then you're going to love this album. But if you don't, and you've never really got into John English, I suggest you go and get this album because it is an excellent album and a reflection of great, uh, gr great songwriting and also great singing. John English with English history. All right, centre stage, we have the man from New York, Mr. Rex Smith, the heartthrob of America, with You Take My Breath Away, Mr. Rex Smith. Water from a spring on 
Tennessee's midsummer day. Oh, you take my breath away. There are for the magic of a sunrise. Only nine. Cause you take my breath away Countdown thought they'd made a mistake on the national chart this week, but I'll tell you about that later. For now, I'm here to tell you that Bon M's Hooray Hooray It's a Holiday almost fell off the top ten. And Racy's Lay Your Love on Me is doing the same thing, only slower. A song that's not moving slowly at all is Some Girls. In fact, we had a triple check to make sure this song really did leap from 25 to 8. How about that? From 25 to 8. Meanwhile, Abba's follow-up to Chikatita is doing pretty good, too. Does Your Mother Know moved up from 9 to 7. Amy Stewart's new song, Light My Fire, is now being played around Australia, while Knock on Wood moved down from 4 to 6. Roger Vadura showed up in the top 10 for the first time last week. This week, Get Used to It jumped from 10 to 5. After only two weeks at number one, Lena Lovich is on the move again. Guess which way? This week, lucky number is number four. Art Garfunkel was number five last week with Bright Eyes. This week, he's number three. Another song moving up the charts this week is Donna Summer. Hot stuff from a Bad Girls album, moved from three to two. Uh, back near the end of the show, Dolly. Um, all I can say is that I've, I saw you on, uh, on the Don Lane show, and I saw you doing Michael Willisey. And to be honest, I've never been more nervous doing a show in my life. Oh, you don't need to be nervous around me. I know I, that. Well, um, I just want to say that I've worked with, you know, a lot of people. With, and Countdown have worked with a lot of people, but... And I sincerely mean this, you are one of the nicest people that I could have ever worked with in my well, life. Well, what you know? a nice thing to say, and I've enjoyed the show. I think you handle this real well, and I hope I can come back and be with you, you again sometime. You certainly can. You've got to come back longer next time, because you're only performing, what, on... Uh, in but, Melbourne on Monday night, tomorrow night. Right and Sydney on Wednesday night. Exactly, but I will come back if the people yeah. will have me, and we're looking forward to the show, so... I'll well, look, I tell you what, you have made everyone, and I'm sure even Western Australia, all those people digging around on the ground, forget about Skylab, because you are sensational. Well, you know? thank you, I just want to and thank you're you. wonderful too, oh. Molly. Thank you. Listen, we've got to go out with the number one record. Um, okay. It's probably a group you don't know much about because they're in England at the moment. They've um, been huge in England. Number one this week for the second week in a row. It's pop music by Big M, and I just want to say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Australia. Thank you, darling. Bye -bye.